everyone. Jambri Absorb. You are watching Cooking Cambodian Food with me, Elisa. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make chak dill. And Thai, they call it a Thai. I'm doing this tutorial because one of all, it's on my birthday and I'm having a party and at the same time I'm throwing a goodbye party my son he is going to US Army and also a Halloween party and I don't want to you know order my um, chakatil so I decided to do my own so here are some of the ingredients you will need to make the chakatil so these are your ingredients that you need to make your chakatil first of all you're going to need a bag of palm sugar. This is 16 ounce and then you're gonna need um, a sauce. Uh, this is like this um, black soy sauce. It's kind of sweet flavor. You will need um, fish sauce. I use this brand because this brand is a little bit more salty. And you will need oyster sauce. Okay. Um, wet tamarind. This, the seedless kind. Of course, oil. Here I have minced garlic and minced shallots. And then here's some shrimp that's cleaning the vein. This is two pound. I'm using 18 eggs. Uh, crab, crab meat, the imitated kind. This is two bag of crab meat. A bean sprout. Cilantro and green onion. You can also use uh, chives if you prefer. And then last ingredient, of course, the most important one is your rice noodle or patio. I'm using the fresh kind. And what you want to do with this is you're going to soak it in cold water for about 30 minutes. Okay, the next step, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce for the chakateo. And here in my sauce pan, I have one cup of water. So I'm going to put in my, um, my seasoning in here. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's much easier when you cook your chakatil. You, you know, you don't have to put your fish sauce, your sugar, everything separately. You could just do the sauce and then just, you know, put it at one time. So here I have one cup of fish sauce. I am going to put that in my pan. Okay, next I'm gonna put in my palm sugar. I'm gonna use the whole bag. And you're gonna turn your heat to medium, okay? Okay, next I'm putting in my uh, sweet tamarind, it's the seedless. This is one fourth cup. Okay, there I go in my tamarind um, paste. This is the oyster sauce. This is one third cup. Okay, this is the sweet black soy sauce. This is one third cup. All the season, seasoning has um, been put in the, uh, in the saucepan now. So now I'm gonna let this um, come to a boil. All the sugars melt and the tamarind paste melt and then I'm gonna turn it off and let this cool and then I'm gonna use it in my chakatil. And this sauce, you know, this is a lot, but you can also you know store this and put it in a container. It will last you about one month. And this good, you can also use this for any kind of stir fry like um, fried rice or chow mein. I've been I use that in the past too. So that's it, and we're just waiting for this to come to a boil. Okay, my sauce has come to a boil now. I'm gonna let this cook for one minute, and then after that, I'm gonna let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, the sauce is gonna become thick. 
Okay guys, so I'm about to stir fry the chocolate here by Wonk. I have three tablespoons of um, olive oil and you want your Wonk to be very hot and then I'm going to put in one tablespoon of my garlic and my, uh, my shallots. So, this cook very fast. Make sure your temperature is high but at the same time try to control it low. So I'm going to put in, make sure you have everything very close by to you so that you have to, you know, grab it from far away. So I'm going to cook my, uh, my shrimp. Just about three tablespoons of shrimp, a little bit. And then I'm going to add in, now you can turn your thing to be low a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to add in uh, just a handful of the crab, or maybe two. It depends on how much you like it. And now I'm going to put in my sauce. I am using one third cup of the sauce that we just made earlier. Okay. Now I'm putting it my heat too high again. So the seafood cooks very fast, so you don't want to cook um, too long. Just when the shrimp turns uh, like pink color, and then you're going to add in your noodle. And here's my noodle. I'm soaking cold water. It's been in cold water for 30 minutes already. And what I did, I cut it in half so it won't be too long. Okay. So here's my shrimp and my uh, my uh, my crab meat. So again, you don't want it, you know, too long. So here, now I'm going to add in my my peel. Just grab like a big a big handful. Maybe two handfuls. Two handfuls of it, okay? Two handfuls. And then you want your wok to be very to be high. And then I'm going to put in another uh, fourth cup of the sauce that we just made. Oops. Okay. And you're going to cook this until, until um, the noodle is soft. And you can use two to make it easier for you to um, to stir fry. Okay, now the noodle is soft now, so I'm gonna add in my um, my um, green green onion, just a handful of green onion, okay. and then my cilantro. I'm mm gonna -hmm. my cilantro, my bean sprout. Just two handful of the bean sprout, and just toss it. And then some cilantro on top of that. Okay. And that's it. You're done with your chocolate peel. That's it. It's very easy. It's not hard. It's only taking like five minutes to stir fry this. But this is one batch. And just, you know, let it stay there. And I taste it and it's, <laughs> it's darn good. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then, you know, you just want to add when you're done. When you're completely uh, finished with your tray, you just want to add, you know, more, um, more, more beans. You want to add more beans on the top, and more cilantro and green onion on the top too. And you know, top it up with, you know, some more crushed peanut. Uh, okay, guys, we're back. You know, I forgot to tell you earlier we need to cook the the egg. Um, so no big deal. So I'm just gonna cook the egg separately. So here in my wok, I have three tables uh, spoon of uh, oil. Now I'm just gonna cook in the egg. So I'm gonna cook uh, six eggs. So each bag you wanna put three three eggs. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. And you just want to scramble this. And then once it's done, you just pour it on top of your um, potato pot over there. Okay, my eggs cooked. I put in a little of that sauce to give a nice flavor on top of it. So now I'm just going to pour it on top of my uh, tray over there. Okay, and you just go ahead and mix it. But I think this is the best way uh, to cook anyway. Cook your eggs separately. Because if you put it with the cathedral, 
it's gonna make the katil soggy. So there you go. You just want to mix it, you know, nice. Okay guys, uh, I'm back. So I just want to show you the final uh, product of the Kateo Cha that I made. So here you go, this is a party tray. If you were to order this uh, through Cater, probably cost you about $75. So I just want to show you. Um, it cost me about $35 to make this. So Kateo was, was like $5. The shrimp was like $10 a bag and the crab meat was like $5 a bag. It's two bags. So like $25. So I would say cost total for $35. So, next time you guys want to do a party, you know, do with Teo Cha, do your own. Save you a lot of money and it tastes good. It tastes very good. So, don't take my word for it. I'm going to have somebody taste it and give me the rating. Okay guys, today I have a very special guest. This is Randy. It's my uh, son, uh, David, friend. He's going to give me a rating, um, you know, to tell you guys how my Teo tastes like. This is the first time here. This is the first time I meet him, so I don't really know him. So, do you know me, Randy? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Go ahead and, and taste it. Ooh, well, that's a big old bite. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to get the, the shrimp, the crab. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Okay, compare that to um, the restaurant, you know, how is it? From a 1 to 10 rating, mm -hmm. I said this is a 10 at a restaurant. You're paying way too much and it's not even worth it. Really? Good. Okay, thank you, Randy. Say cool. goodbye. All right. How's the noodle, how's the noodle? How's the noodle? Good. Is it good? Is this better than the store? Any more shrimp though. Any more shrimp? Yeah. I want to buy a bag. <laughs> two bags. <laughs> Next <Three>. time. <laughs> no, there's more shrimp at the house. <laughs> but it's not in this <laughs> 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 Oh, Hi. What's your name? I'm Valerie Silk. Valerie? Um, no, Pad she's Thai. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Little, I'm Stevie Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. Uh, the Pad Thai was great. I just need some lime and some peanuts on it. Uh-huh. Um, they had good flavor, nice and fresh. Yeah. And uh, the chicken tastes great too. Look at right here. He's eating it all up. <laughs> One to ten, what number, guys? Uh, chicken is... Um, an eight. Okay. And the pad thai is a nine. It just needs the lime. And okay. And we got lime. I could get you some yeah. lime. <laughs> and then, then it's a ten if that's, that's all it needs. Okay. We have some lemon tree back here. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much.